everybody, my name is Patricia Steck. This is my video blog for New Media Literacy. I'd like to talk a little bit about my blog, Filming the Unfilmable, which is about difficult film adaptation. Film adaptation essentially is the transfer of a written work in whole or in part into a feature film. So it's a type of derivative work. Um, I'm interested in how this process applies to difficult literary works. And of course it pertains to our theme of remixing since it's essentially cultural material spread so over two broad different film. books, uh, Dune by Frank Herbert and uh, The Road by Cormac McCarthy. These are both books that have been adapted into films and I'll start with Dune. Dune was written in 1965 by Frank, Frank Herbert and since then, up until now, is the best-selling science fiction novel in the whole world. <laughs> It introduces a feudal interstellar society set in the far future wherein various noble houses fight over spice, which is the most valuable substance in the universe. Uh, the story covers such themes as politics, religion, ecology, technology, and human emotion. Uh, however, the philosophical scope and amount of internal dialogue in the novel is what makes it so difficult to translate to the big screen. Alejandro Jodorowsky surrendered his attempt of an adaptation, which would have included original music by Pink Floyd and a cast featuring Orson Welles and Salvador Dali. Uh, David Lynch picked it up in 1984 and made a somewhat surrealist director fail to transpose the detailed reality that Herbert illustrated. Fans of the book criticized Lynch's overly condensed plot, and those unfamiliar with the novel were simply baffled. In some cin cinemas, cheat sheets were even distributed to help audiences to understand what on earth was going on. David Lynch has barely made comment on it since. Personally, I think the plot is too vast and uh, is comprised of far too many details to comfortably fit into yeah, two I'd hours like to of talk about The Road, which was authored by Cormac McCarthy in 2006. And it narrates a post-apocalyptic tale of a father and young son traveling on foot over a period of several months across a landscape destroyed by an unspecified cataclysm. Civilization is nearly wiped out, leaving the remaining survivors to fend for themselves. The narrative is not difficult, except for McCarthy's seldom use of quotations for dialogue. But the bleakness with which he delivers the story is emotionally shattering. The novel is essentially devoid of sentiment. Director John Hillcoat adapted the work in 2009, incorporating the, the minimal pose and existential dread for which McCarthy so has been English. I've become aware of the crossing of mediums, such as books, film, and music. Literary conventions overlap and pervade every expressive outlet, and I am interested in observing, analyzing, and commenting on the tensions between written fiction and filmic adaptations, particularly the films that attempt to translate difficult and unconventional narratives, ones often rendered unfilmable.